Darrell Jazz Johnson, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com, here with a man who wears many hats, uh, Dave Diamante. Dave, how are we doing today? Man, I'm doing great, Darrell. Thanks. Good to be here. So, so let the people out there know some of the things that you're working on besides the Brooklyn Nets. Well, obviously Brooklyn Nets is the number one thing, but a lot of other stuff, a lot of great boxing stuff happening, a lot of good boxing shows. Uh, we have a big fight here December 6th. Uh, I've got a fight next week in Westbury. Um, a lot of good stuff happening. Um, I hosted the Connecticut Boxing Hall of Fame last night, and we had some great inductees and a lot of living, living inductees that came, and it was just a whole lot of fun. Now, now you just received an award. Uh, tell us about the award received, and tell us how you felt when you received it. Well, it was a big surprise, and it was just a really nice award from the Connecticut Boxing Hall of Fame for you know being the master of ceremonies, and made me feel very good. Uh, tons of fun. It was my birthday last night, and they also had a big cake. And Peter Manfredo and I, uh, they had both of our names on it because his birthday is going to be next week. So both of us blew out the candles together, and it was it was fun. Good time. So I've already thought you were insane for your work schedule because you work all the time. But you did something over the summer that confirms your insanity. You, you went running with the Bulls in Spain. What was on your mind when you said, this is something I'm going to do? You know, that's one of those things I've kind of always wanted to do it. And I've just never, I've been to Spain before, but never at the time when they do the running. And this, kind, this time it just kind of worked out. And um, I got to run three times with them, which was great, on three different days. And it was an incredible experience. Um, you know, I went out there with some friends. And, um, man, it gets your adrenaline going. I, I'll tell you, it was great. If you were out there, you would have done it. it. It was great. And the Ring Magazine, which is a great magazine, they did a nice uh, article about it. The only way I will run with the Bulls is if they create a video game that simu uh, simulates it. Other than that, I'll, I'll stay away from that. Uh, finally, let's talk about your cigar uh, lounge. Uh, I haven't been there, but, I, but I, I'm saying this on camera that I will make an appearance there this season. But, but let the people know about it and where it is for those who want to stop by after a net game or, or anytime. So the, the name of the place is Diamante's Brooklyn Cigar Lounge. Um, it's located about two blocks away uh, in the Fort Greene area. Uh, the address is 108 South Oxford Street. Uh, the website is brooklyncigarlounge.com. And it's just a really nice, comfortable place. To, uh, we have some great hand-rolled cigars, great premium cigars. I have my own brand of cigar that we sell there. And we've had a lot of great events uh, lately. Like, in fact, today we're open right now. There's a tailgate Sunday going on where guys come to watch the NFL or the Brooklyn Nets or stuff like that. So a lot of guys come to watch sporting events. But it's really fun, and, and there's music playing and, and a lot of nice people from the neighborhood. So. Uh, 21 and up, come on down and, and enjoy a fine cigar. I know I said final question before, but we haven't even talked about the team yet. So what are your thoughts on the 2014, 2015 Brooklyn Nets and, and how they've started so far? I think they look great. I really do. Uh, I, first of all, I'm really excited to have Lionel Hollins as the head coach. Uh, I think he knows really well what he's doing. He's got a great assistant staff. Uh, and we also have a lot of really young guys that are kind of coming up, you know, Sergey Karasev. Uh, Mirza Toledovic, uh, Boyan Bogdanovic, Mason Plumley. There's all these new legs. And then, of course, the addition of Jared Jack and the way Darren's been playing and Joe's been playing. And we have Brooke back in the lineup. And, of course, the, the, the veteran uh, leadership of guys like Kevin Garnett. And I think it's a great mix of, of young legs and veterans. And I think we're going we're gonna to do very well. Um, I think, without a doubt, um, you know, we're all expecting uh, to make the playoffs, at least, you know, we hope every year. So. Uh, we've been we've been doing very well. Had some great wins so far, and I, I, I look for that to continue. All right, thanks a lot for your time. You got it. Appreciate thanks. it.